Hello everybody and welcome to my March wrap up. Um I'm just gonna get get going, get to it. Um I read four books and six comics. I'm reading six different series, so the six comic thing is gonna stay the same for a good while until I finish one of the series and start another one, but anyway. Um, one of the books is a book I've been w literally listening to for ooh, months. It's probably close to a year, but anyway. Go, oh, why didn't you DNF? Because I'm stubborn. Haha. -ha. I DNF a lot, actually, but... Didn't used to up until, like, four years ago, and then I started DNF, and it's like, ah, oh, the freedom. <laughs> but I give it, like, five chapters or a hundred pages, whatever comes first, so... Unless it's like the, I don't like the writing, the writing style is not for me, and then I, I'll I'll put down sooner. But anyway, or the character, the lead character, like mm, nope. <laughs> anyway, uh, the first thing I uh, two comics I read were Uncanny X Men four thirty and four thirty one, and I gave those both three and a half stars, basically for the same reason I gave the last issues the same close to the same uh, score or rating, whatever you want to call it. Uh, poor art. The storyline's alright. I've read, I've read better. Anyway. Uh, I then I um, read Wonder Woman Rebirth number 5. I'm not sure if that's technically still the Rebirth storyline or is it a new storyline. I think it's still Rebirth, but anyway. I uh, gave that three stars. Uh, the art was decent, well, decent art, but the storyline is just it's, it's down the middle. So not so much to say about it. Um, if you want to know more about any of these comics or whatever, I can um, give you uh, links or information down in the description or the comments or whatever. Oh, the first book I finished is the one that I've been listening to on audio for uh, months. And it's Harry Potter, the fourth Harry Potter book. Um, which I think is Order of the Phoenix. I think. God, I've heard so much about this series, you think I'd have the titles and numbers memorized, but I'm tired. <laughs> I gave this two and a half stars like I've given all the Harry Potter books for reasons. If you want to ask me the reasons, feel free in a nice, polite way. And I'll answer in a nice, polite way. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, I don't have much to say about that because you can kind of tell how I felt about it with my rating. Um, anyway, the next uh, graphic novel I read was After I Lost Airbenders, Smoke and Shadow, Part two, and I gave that five stars. It's the start of a new. Uh, I think yeah, these are all three comic story arcs. The after uh, graphic novel, this one. I'm kind of drawing a blank on what this one's about. Oh, I think it's about um the Fire Nation and um these spirits that are kidnapping uh, children. I think that's a basic storyline. Anyway, I really enjoyed uh, it because I'm like a huge Avatar fan. I cannot wait to collect all the Funko Pops. I hope to get at least three or four this summer, I'm hoping, before my birthday. Anyway, <laughs> there's 11 in total. Um, there is uh, three Aangs, one Sokka, one Katara, uh, one, two Zukos, one Iro, one Appa, but it's a, it's a three inch pop, so I'm not buying it until they come out with a bigger Appa because it's just wrong. Um, and they also have Toph and Azula. Anyway, on to the rest of my wrap up. Um, next one's uh, Superman, 
Birthright, I think, issue 7. I was going to write down the numbers before I filmed this video, and I guess who forgot? Uh, I gave this uh, 3 stars. I'm not reading a lot of great storylines right now. Superman, then read Supergirl V5 issue... I want to say five, uh, six. Issue six, yeah, yeah. Uh, three stars. I'm not reading any great uh, storylines right now, so they're all about three, three and a half stars, so. Uh, then I read the sixth book in the Jennifer Snyder's uh, Mirror Lake. It's kind of like a epilogue novella scene. Uh, I read book six, which is Moon Revealed, and I gave that three stars, like I have most of the books in that series. Uh, since it's a sequel, I cannot say much. It's about werewolves who live in a trailer park, and there's also vampires exist, and don't ask them why they live in the trailer park by choice. Don't know. Uh, they have not explained that. It's not even in the first book, so I don't know. And Dinner Bed, Carne Ar Ar uh, by Lynette Noni. Um... Which, if you follow any Australian uh, booktubers, like I do, I follow, uh, you know, a handful. It, uh, it's a, a popular YA series in Australia. Um, it's about this girl named Alex, and she gets supposedly sucked into another realm. And then makes, uh, meets two people from over there. It's kind of like our world, but different. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, her two best friends that she meets are Jordan and Bear. I'm not going to say Bear's real name because it's more fun if you find out for yourself. Uh, all the book, there's four books in the series. The fourth book just came out. All of them are, are available on Amazon if you're interested. Because I don't think any libraries here in the States have them because it's, it's an Australian based publishing company that prints the books. So, you, but you can get them all on Amazon if you're interested. Or I don't know if Book Depository has them. So they might. But I know Amazon does for sure. Um, but all the people in the other realm, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm trying to be very vague with this. Uh, that Alex goes to have abilities. <laughs> Not going to say more than that or what the abilities are, but there's a school where all these kids uh, in this land go to. Um, it's a boarding school. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, I gave it... I think I'll give it for... Uh, Four stars, parts of it three and a half stars, parts of the book are three, like I said, sometimes a book needs two different ratings, in my opinion, because parts of it were three and a half star. Um, I, I'm afraid if I tell you why I rated it that, it might spoil something. I don't want to spoil anybody, just in case you want to read, <laughs> read the series. Um, anyway. And uh, the last book, I just finished this a couple hours ago, like le probably less than two hours ago, was A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kem er, er. <laughs> I just want to say Kemmer, Kemmer er. There you go. I said it. I would love to ask her, how do you say your last name? Because people have hard times with it. She probably, and I'm sure she knows that. Uh, it's that uh, new book that's going around, book two, but it's the... Uh, Beauty and the Beast retelling. I've been, I bet, buddy read it with my, bet, one of my close friends, Jazz, from uh, Shiny Scene Reviews. I'll leave her channel down below. She'll be talking about the book and her wrap up here in, you know, a few, you know, a week or so. I'm not sure when she's going to film her wrap up because, um, can't read her mind. Not, <laughs> not all the time anyway. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, Anyway, uh, I give it four stars because I enjoyed it, and it's not the stereotypical... Well, it's, there are the main po plot points for the Beauty and the Beast storyline are there, but it does take 
different turns and it does a different twist on take on it which is enjoyable and I know this is going to be part of a series or at least a trilogy I'm not sure how big of a series I don't consider trilo I know I like there's dual there's dendlons duologies trilogies and then there's series anything above three books to me is a series but anyway that's just my own opinion um I enjoyed it for the most part there were some frustrating parts but you know what can you do besides enjoy what you know you can out of a book anyway uh that was my reading month i'm sorry i was a little scattered in places um i yeah, that's all i have to say i think uh thank you for watching uh please subscribe i will not force you obviously but I'd much appreciate it if you did. Uh, please comment uh, what you read in the month of March. Or if you have a video, let me know. And I'll check it out. And as always, please leave your favorite read and your least favorite read. And if you want to tell me why, that'd be cool. Okay. Peace. Till next time.